Yo, what's going on, JGL family? How y'all doing today, man? What's going on, YouTube? Hey, first of all, let me tell you guys something. Today is uh, going to be an awesome day. Um, because, first of all, today's vlog is brought to you by God himself. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, JGL family? How y'all doing today, man? What's going on, YouTube? Hey, first of all, let me tell you guys something. Today is uh, going to be an awesome day. Um, because, first of all, today's vlog is brought to you by God himself. <laughs> Great advertisement, right? But, no, seriously. Oh, okay, I was serious. But, today's vlog and theme is about people who forget God after their trials is over. I know that sounds like a long title, but it's not. Basically, it's not forgetting God. Alright? <clears throat> but as always, I'm always trying to innovate or step up each time that I visit you guys on YouTube. Whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Instagram, I'm trying to present something new to you. And the reason why I'm trying to uh, present something new to you is because I want you, because you subscribe to my channel for one reason. I hope it's to elevate your mind. It's to have a, uh, have a different outlook on life than what you're normally doing. And so I share my stories and I share my life with you because life is, a, like my sister said, life as a Christian person isn't born. Actually, I have fun. I have fun. I have fun delivering God's message to you in a unique way. And so God has given me the ability and the and, and, and placed in my heart. First of all, knowing what God called me to do. That's one. Two, the ability to walk into your purpose is, obe is, is obeying God and trusting God. And so anyway, I know I just went like way out of the, way out of the ballpark with what I said I came to talk about. Today's vlog, I'm very excited. The scenery, man, we're going to be in downtown Cary. Hopefully everything works out the way we plan. But if it doesn't, God be the glory, right? We're just going to work. We usually look at Abraham and Jacob. That's what we usually look at. Abraham and Israel because Israel came out of Jacob and Abraham was the father of the faith the beginning the friend of God so we usually look here that um, part of the land the land that Moses every time when they was traveling that land they had adversaries and when the Lord when Moses said or when God said go and I will be with you they will take over and then that land will be part of the 12 tribes, mm. you understand? Know so they all, they had the Canaanites, they got the Amalekites, they had all these, all uh, and then all it becomes their land. land. Yeah. Like you said, the week, week uh, earlier, the, the, the treasures of the darkness the will be <coughs> God's, so it's the same thing, but this is now will be spiritual. Everything will be spiritual. Because this is the highest, I like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. is like um, the first, it, it tells you that the Bible, it goes with um, the month Abib or Nisan is the first month. So that's another study. So it's just a, for everything in one. It's deep. Yeah, it, it so takes, it takes, it's that. So that's what I've been doing this whole and week. even that, see, the occult, yeah, they use that. They use everything that God said and uh -huh. use it for Satan. For Satan, even right. Even that right there is, is a, you can draw. I was showing y'all with Sister Sheila. Um, she had made this little diagram thingy of um, the children of Israel's experience while they was going through the wilderness, and it was interesting because each there was there were certain stages that they was going through in order for them to be cleansed. That's basically this what she was breaking down, and what it was was when they left Egypt, God took them 
through the wilderness to work out certain problems in their life in order them for, for them to be ready for the blessing that he had for them in the land of Canaan. I mean, for in the land of, um, in the promised land. So, so it is spiritual now that when God deliver us from the world or Egypt, that we go through certain trials, that we go through certain trials in our life in order for us to reach the next level. Two hours later. All right, so we setting up now. We just got out here. Stanley finally got here doing his thing. All right, show you what he's taking a picture of. That cat don't even don't, don't even know. But yeah, we out here, man. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful Saturday, about 50 some degrees. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, we doing we Stanley showed me a couple of things about the camera that helped me to uh. You know educate me more so basically to understand that when i start vlogging how to control the aperture the shutter speed which will help me get me a better picture so then when i get that m50 i know exactly what i'm doing instead of being an amateur you know what i'm saying that's how you build you know what i mean but um so we're gonna take some pictures yo and then we'll get this vlog together now this vlog right here that we're doing right now it may be totally different let me got the sunlight It'll be totally different from the one that I'm gonna do on my other camera. You know what I'm saying? I've never been able to really test this camera out to the point where I was comfortable with it, but learning what I learned today, we're gonna see. All right, y'all, peace. You good? Yeah, so we, man, we actually had to uh, change schedule. So we did the vlog, we actually did the, uh, the end of the vlog, but that water fountain back there was so loud and uh i didn't have a mic to drown out the noise so we're gonna go to barn park now um barn park to have us a little bit more quiet and some good scenery so uh stan's still doing this thing where is he i got him there you go yeah he's still doing this thing man we're gonna enjoy it a little bit more for the sunset this is golden hour this is what photographies photographers and video photographers call golden hour now i understand why this is the perfect day for taking pictures all right y'all be out Bring the beat in. This is a beautiful day. I can't, I can't express any more how I feel right now. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. It just feels good. It looks good, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm understanding this five o'clock. This what do they call it? The golden hour. I'm really understanding it. But um, anyway, yeah, we about to get set up out here at Barn Park. Um, you know. It's, it's, it's a beautiful day, man. Anyway, we almost there, y'all. Yeah. In Genesis chapter 7, it talks about how the flood, it talks about the flood. And basically what I'm saying, what I'm going to show you in Genesis chapter 7 and Genesis chapter 8, two things. One, in Genesis chapter 7, it Genesis chapter 7, no one has finally was preaching and telling everybody what's going on. And basically, we talk about a time of crisis. So the crowds start turning, the lightning start flashing, the water begin to break against the banks, the oceans begin to rise. So all water just coming out of the, all over the place. And the people at, the, at that time had never seen this before. And so during this time, our time with them and your time and, and their time is spiritual. It's like this. When we go through a time of crisis, which was a time of crisis, we tend to want to knock on the door on Noah's Ark. Knock on the door. Let me in, let me in. Fortunately for us, God is letting us in. But the thing about it is, a lot of people forget God after he delivered them from that crisis. And so the thing of it is, is that we cannot forget to forget God when God delivers us from out of our trials. 
we go through we go through the wilderness experience. As soon as our wilderness experience is over, and God blesses us, and He take, gives our peace back, and whatever the case, case may be, we tend to forget God. So the best way to not to forget God, my friend, is to always keep a constant communication with Him, whether it's in prayer, whether it's in reading the scriptures, just take the time out daily to commune with God. Here's another example in Genesis chapter eight, when the Noah's Ark had finally um, settled on Mount Everest. The first thing that Noah did was that him and his family got off of the boat, out of, out of the ark, and offered a sacrifice to the Lord. That show, now it's kind of weird because you kind of think about it. The time that they spent on the boat, their human nature could have kicked in and it was like, you know, Lord, have you abandoned us? We're still going through this long trial. Lord, have you forgotten all about us? But God didn't. And so the first thing that they did was they offered a sacrifice. Each day you get the opportunity. Don't forget to give God thanks. Keep a constant communion with the Lord and forever be grateful. Hey, we about to continue to do some vlogging out here. So anyway, peace, love, and God bless. But now I'm fine. Sometimes dreams do fade. But I'm, I'm blessed today. Oh, yeah. Lord, show the way. Now I once was lost. But now I'm fine. Lord, show.